Hello everyone, I am Ritesh from Record.io and in this video I will show you how to add sign in with Google button in your Android app. So we will create this here you just can add uh, so you just can select the account and in your console as you can see the user can see its account Ritesh at riskinnaya.com we will create this in this video. So let's get started. So let's create a project. So hit new project. We'll go with XML instead of Jetpack Compose. So select empty Fuse activity and hit finish. Uh, hit next and we'll name it uh, sign in with Google XML. We'll make a Jetpack Compose one later someday. And we'll leave everything as default. Here is the package name, the location, and all. So hit finish and here is our project it's loading so our project has been loaded we'll remove this part we don't need it's not a jetpack compose project so we'll remove this and this let's keep it a bit more cleaner now open let me open our blog so we have created the project now we need to enable view binding so copy this and in the studio open the grayer scripts and here open the module level app and in the android block just paste it here and sync the project with grayer files now i will again append the block now we need to connect our app to firebase i hope you have already created a firebase project for the for this app if you don't know how to create a project i have already made a video for this you can check that out in this video i will show you how to connect the connect your android app with firebase so open firebase console here is the project uh, we have created in the last video and we'll hit android and here we will hit i will need to add the package name so open your main activity and you can see your package name here copy that and paste it here we'll name it sign with google xml the app name and for the ssg1 key open android studio in the gradle uh, open this gradle part and in task and android open signing report so you can see your ssg1 key here copy that and paste it here and register your app now uh, let's download the json so it has been downloaded it's a small file and in android studio let's close all of this change the view to project view and in the f folder just drag the json file there so just like that and hit yes and refactor so we got the json file here now we'll add uh, move back to android view now hit next and we need to add these dependencies so copy this and we need to add it in the project level gradle file so this is the project level open it and paste it here i will sync it later now we need to copy this and again paste it in the boiler gradle this is the app level one so paste it here and scroll down paste these two in the dependencies section so paste this and in the clipboard i will paste it hit or enter and replace it so and sync the project with gradle files so open console now let's move to next step so our app is connected with firebase now we need to so we need to update the json just download the new json and in android studio again move back to project level view delete the old one and open the new json just you can copy paste or just drag it to the folder and yes refactor okay so we have updated the json just close all of these click done 
so we have enabled google as a sign in provider so our apps can use sign in with google now let's move to the next step now we need to add these dependencies so we have already added those dependencies when connecting the app to it firebase uh, here also we have added both of these so we just need to add uh, this except the first two so copy this and in android studio let's move back to android view and in build.gradle we'll paste this uh, just hit alt enter again hot alt enter all of this sync the project with gradle files this red text will be fixed uh, once the project is synced so our project is synced with gradle files so let's move to the next step so we need to create login activity and add sign in with google button so so our project is synced with gradle files let's uh, let's move to the next step so we need to create login activity so uh, right click on the pack, your, on your package name and create an empty views activity we'll name it uh, login activity and we'll uh, check this box launcher activity this way our uh, as the f starts this is the first activity which will run uh, now hit finish again we'll remove this block of text code and this also now we need to add the sign with google button so just open your activity login and we'll change this to linear layout and we'll add a orientation of vertical we'll add the background color arch as one eight one eight one eight and a gravity gravity of center so that and now uh, just move to the block and here uh, you will find this code block copy this and paste it here is the id sign in oh, i should be signing with google let's keep it like this and now we need to generate web client id open this link and so my web client id is already generated let me show you how to create this just hit create credentials and select OAuth client id and in this package select android and give it, uh, type your apps name sign in with google xml my app name is that and the package name again you can find that in any of your activities so we'll copy that and paste it here and the sg1 key it's easy just open gradle and here open sunny report and copy the key paste it here and yeah that's all you need and hit get once you hit create you will get your credence uh, your OAuth client id here uh, just like this and you just need to copy the client id and from the block let's copy this code block as well and we'll close all of these and open from res open values strings.xml paste the copied code block and replace your client id replace with your client id just that so this is the client id we copied from here and that's all you need to do let's move to the next step so now we need to set up login activity so we need to set up view id so again you can copy paste or you can code if you want paste the copied code here and hit zip tab to move it back and import the class let's give it a bit more space now here we need to select binding dot binding equals activity view binding 
activity login binding dot inflate layout inflator and here just replace this part with binding dot root so our binding is binding setup is ready now let's move to the next step we need to initialize firebase auth so copy this paste it here hit alt enter and here we will initialize firebase auth firebase auth equals firebase auth dot get instance oh sorry this is the small case one okay so our we have initialized firebase auth next move to the next step we need to initiate google sign in client sign in client so again let's this code import it and copy this code block and paste it in the on create function so this is the default web client id we just grabbed from the cl google cloud and open this uh, import this hit alt enter now we need to create the sign in with google function so again copy paste copy this block this is the one which will uh, so this is the code which will we will link with uh, the sign with google button we'll link it later we'll set a on click listener there now we need to handle the result from the sign with google intent again paste it hit alt enter again hit alt enter import all of these next we'll uh, create this update by function this is where you will get the email and name and everything and we'll update the ui so basically uh, once the user is authenticated we will move it to main activity and here is the email and the name of the user you can just uncomment this and use it let's import this now we need to set the on click listener so we'll set on click listener on this sign in with google button so the id is sign in we will add the on click listener here so we'll when the user hits sign in uh, we'll show a start message and run this function which result will go here and we'll handle the result in this function and we'll get the email and everything here okay so next we need to copy this function which will if the user is already authenticated we will move directly to the main activity so that the user doesn't have to again authenticate whenever it opens the the user opens the app so this is the uh, code for that when if the user is uh, not empty it means some uh, already a user is logged in we will move the user to main activity now that is all we need to do let's test the app so i will select app and i have already connected my phone so let's hit uh, let's hit our on so here is our app so we'll click sign in we will select uh, the email and you are uh, we have been moved to the main activity so our uh, account is created let's check it if the account is created we'll refresh authentication and here is the account thanks for watching the video please don't forget to like and subscribe